Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, Chuck from Chuck Wagon MTG. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, today we're going to be busting open a box of M14 core set. Um, we're trying to stick with at least one box, if not two. Uh, older sets per month and uh, this is kind of what we had laying around right now uh, there is some good stuff in here uh, mainly the money is going to be in the foils uh, that's where the bigger money is um, but outside of foils there are a few things that are worth some money uh, we've got Archangel of Thune uh, Muda Vault is in this set um, what else we got? We got oh we got uh, I me mean, aside from the planeswalkers, um, we do have all the the base planeswalkers are in this set because this is a core set, and then um, we've got Rise of the Dark Realms that is just one of the most fun EDH cards known to man. So fun, um, and then in the we also have a couple in the uncommon category of uh, Shadowborn Apostle is still up there like a buck and a half two bucks something like that and then we've got mana weft sliver we do got the slivers in these too so that's kind of that's far in the bun right there in fact look at that we got slivers right there one of my favorites uh it's the edh deck i've had together the longest is a sliver deck and i just i love slivers so anywho per usual we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna skip past the uh the uncommons here and get right to the stuff you guys actually want to see. We have a Briar Pack Alpha, Molten Rebirth, Howl of the Night Pack, I love that card, and Into the Wilds, and a cat token. I don't know if any of the tokens from this set are actually worth anything. I know from some of the older core sets, uh, some of the tokens are actually worth a little bit. Nothing phenomenal, but enough to say, hey, that's kind of cool. Glimpse of the Future, Wall of Frost, Flesh Pulper Giant, I love the art on that card so much, Rare Being Jace's Mind Seeker, we did get an Angel Token, I think that's, if any of them are still worth money, I think that one is uh, is one of the ones that's going to be actually worth something, uh, oh we got Shock, not worth anything really, but I still like it. Hive stirrings, more sliver love. All right, we got Staff of the Wild Magus, Warden of the Evil or of Evil's Isle, Congregate, and Mind Sparker as our rare. And hey, off the bat, we got Shadowborn Apostle. Go ahead and put that to the side. Another sliver. All right, we got Illusionary Armor, Flames of the Firebrand, Dragon Egg, not a bad card, and Dismiss into Dream as our rare. All right, we have Angelic Wall, and a whole bunch of these that I don't even know why I read that one off, because we're skipping past that. We don't play that game around here. <laughs> we have Millstone, Brave the Elements, Phantom Warrior, and our rare is Savage Summoning. That's actually, you know, I, I think this is an undervalued card. That's not a bad card at all. We got a sliver token. Um, but yeah, that's not a bad card at all. One instant, can't be countered. The next creature you cast has Flash, can't be countered. And it's a plus one, plus one counter. I mean, to me, that just sounds good. I don't know. What do I know, though? What do I know? Another sliver. All right, we got a Shiv's Embrace, Staff of the Death Magus, Windstorm, and our rare is Pyromancer's Gauntlet. Oh, uh, oh, all right, Elvish Mystic, not worth anything, but that's kind of one of those semi-iconic cards for Magic. Shrivel, that thing was so good for a while. Oh, well. All right, we have Staff of the Flame Magus, Voracious Worm, Dragon Egg again, and our rare is 
Path of Bravery. We got a dragon token. You know, honestly, I um, a lot of this, the majority of this stuff that's any kind of money, I end up selling. Uh, and I put back into the channel um, new equipment, editing software, me learning how to use said editing software. Um, but the tokens that generally aren't worth money, I get to keep. I have an amazing collection of tokens now. So we have a Bubbling Cauldron, Vampire Warlord, Vial of Poison, and our rare is Awaken the Ancient. Make a land of yours or a mountain, a big old 7-7 seven, seven with haste, and it's a land. Not really what you want to be doing with four mana in red, but I digress. We have Staff of the Wild Magus, Bramble Crush, Battle Sliver, and our rare is Garrick's Horde. With another sliver token. Tell you what, a while ago we opened, uh, what was the last one we opened? M11, I think it was. The packs were so much harder to open. It was, it was redonkulous. Hey, we got another Shadowborn Apostle. Sweet. That makes two. I think we got a shiny. We got a steel form sliver. Briar pack alpha. Brave the elements. And winner, winner, chicken dinner. We got a Garrick. Caller of beasts. First mythic of the bat box. And a foil. Brave the elements. That's not shabby. I don't think that. I think that might actually be worth a few bucks. I could be wrong. If not, I'm going to throw it in a binder because that looks beautiful. Someday I'll be able to afford one of those 4K cameras where you guys can see how good that looks. Um, it still doesn't quite do it justice, but it's better than the 1080p thing I got going on now. But that will come in time. That was a good pack. All right, we have a Spell Blast. Wrong pile. Doom Blade. Barrage of Expendables. I love that card just for the art. Rare being Bra Bog Brew Witch. Last pack in that first stack. Thought we had another Shadowborn Apostle there for a second. We have Glimpse of the Future, Diabolic Tutor, Hall of the Night pack, and our rare is Pyromancer's Gauntlet again. Start on this third, or third second stack see if we can speed up our luck a little bit i'm not going to complain it i mean this is m14 so it's not like we're going for insane stuff here but yeah i don't know we're still doing decent rod of ruin mana weft sliver one of the guys that's worth a few extra bucks all right and we got megantic sliver and i forgot to name this guy singir vampire i know he's not worth a whole lot but I mean, he's been around for so dang long, and he was so good back in the day. Anyways, we got a Mega Sliver. Festering Newt. She tend me into a Newt. A Newt. Well, I got better. And that's the end of my monologue for the day. I am sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we have Tenacious Dead. Glimpse the Future, Barrage of Expendables, and our rare is another clone with a zombie token. Uh-oh, do we get another foil? I think we got another foil. We have a Quarter Shield, Doom Blade, Elixir of Immortality, and our rare is Traumatize. EDH love all over the place with a foil solemn offering. <clears throat> Excuse me. All and I'm skipping past stuff I'm not supposed to. We have Flames of the Firebrand, Tenacious Dead, Staff of the Sun Magus, and our rare is Primeval Bounty. Um, 
I don't think it's actually worth anything, but it's like an EDH card. Oh, and we got a foil too. We got a foil barrage of expendables. Okay, we're gonna make another pile here. Oh, I'm screwing stuff up. Look at this. Okay, mythics. I'm sorry, folks. I know I'm bad. There we go. Now we're organized. All right. On with the show. Did we? Oh, I think we got in our foil. Sweet. We have Corrupt. Staff of the Death Magus. Stonehorn Chanter. And our rare is Into the Wilds with a foil Plains. I'll take it. I've got a plan for foil planes, or foil planes, foil basics that uh, hopefully y'all are going to be hearing about sometime soon. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. And nothing good. We got Rod of Ruin. Artificer's Hex. Congregate in our rare is Sanguine Bond. I think that's still a couple bucks, isn't it? I know for a while it was kind of up there because of the whole... Oh, what was it? There was a card that it worked with really good. That I'm not remembering. <laughs> All right, we got Volcanic Geyser. I'm going through this too quick. I apologize. Bramble Crush. In large, I love this. I just love I mean, the cat, the cat and the... Chasing the merfolk, that's just, I love it. Rare being, haunted plate mail. <laughs> haunted. I'll see myself out. I'm in kind of a goofy mood today, folks. I don't know what's going on here. All right. Oh, we got another Man of West sliver. We got Opportunity. Windstorm in our rare is Trading Post. Got another shock. I think we got another foil. Feels like it. We have a quarter shield. Battle Sliver. Artificer's Hex in our rare is Siobhan Dragon. Remember when he used to be the king of the block. Our foil is an armored cancrex. Not great, but I'll take it. It's shiny. I'll go with it. Did we get another foil? I think we got another foil. Oh. Blightcaster. Wall of Swords. Staff of the Mind Magus in our rare is Silence. Foil, foil domestication. I mean, it's not really the foil rare we want, but I mean, it's still not bad. No foil in this pack. We have Fire Shrieker, Dark Steel Ingot. I think that might actually be worth something. Yeah, probably not. Flush Pulper Giant, and our rare is Quicken. That card was hot for a hot little minute, I guess. And now it's back to where it should be. We got another Fire Shrieker. Air Servant, Diabolic Tutor, and our rare is Grim Return. Oh. We did get a Liliana emblem. I actually think that is worth a few bucks. All right, we got Shimmering Grotto, Vial of Poison, Wall of Frost, and our rare is Nightmare. Oh man, such an underappreciated card. I love that card so much. Oh, yeah. Two thirds of the way through the box, starting that third stack right now. Alright, we got another Shimmering Grotto. A Steel Form Sliver. 
air servant in our rare is a Johnny Caller of the Pride, second planeswalker of the box. Well, thank you. All right, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? We got a Shiv's Embrace. That's what we got. We got a Singear Vampire. Angelic Accord. And our rare is Ratchet Bomb. Oh, that thing used to be so good. I mean, it's definitely still not bad, but it's not what it was. I say that about a lot of cards. I feel like, uh, what's the South Park? Member Berries. There we go. Member, member went. Oh, we got another Shadowborn Apostle. Sweet. That's what, three for the box? All right, we got Opportunity. Encroaching Wastes. Elixir of Immortality. And our rare is Burning Earth. All right, another shock. Lightning Talons, that was fun. Death Grace Cockatrice, that guy was fun. We have Gnawing Zombie. Wall of Swords. Water Servant and Ogre Battle Driver. All right. Nothing good in there, but I think we... No, I don't think we did. Never mind. Ignore me. We have Banisher Priest. Woodborn Behemoth. Staff of the Mind Magus, and our rare is Thorncaster Sliver. Not putting him in the good pile. Even though I absolutely love him, he's not. He's not any kind of money or mythic. And no foil. Staff of the Flame Magus. Blightcaster. Young Pyromancer, that's, I think that's still sitting around a buck or so. And then we have a Johnny's Chosen as our rare. I could be wrong on the Pyromancer, I want to say it's dropped. But I'm going to put it in that pile just because I can. Because these are, these, are, these are my boxes, and I'm going to. I love you guys. All right, we have a Woodborne Behemoth, Sarah Angel. Stonehorn Chanter, and our rare is Liliana of the Dark Realms. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We have three Planeswalkers for our four Mythics. So far, I think we're kind of like on par with how these boxes are supposed to go. Nothing fantastic, but uh, definitely not a bad box. We have Bubbling Cauldron. Colonian... Tusker. Phantom Warrior, and our rare is Witch Stalker. That guy used to be a thing, too. Well, anything hex proof is good. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Three packs, including the one in my hand. We got Spell Blast, Gnawing Zombie. Staff of the Sun Magus, and our rare is Goblin Diplomats. Oh, yay. Man, not one Muda Vault. I was kind of hoping to pull one. I think we had a foil. We have a Dark Steel Ingot, Voracious Worm, Angelic Accord, and our rare is Colossal Whale with a Academy Raider. As our foil. Last pack. Put some luck in there. No foil. We have a Volcanic Geyser. Illusionary Armor. Warden of Evos Isle. And our rare is Tidebender Mage. I guess it could have been worse for a last pack. Alright, well... Kind of recap what we got here. Uh, Tidebender, I think, is worth... Here, let's do this. A little something, just because the whole... You know, it is a merfolk, and it is played in merfolk, modern merfolk. Um, 
Ouch. I honestly don't think any of these are the good rares. Um, maybe Sanguine? Possibly. I mean, I could be wrong on this stuff, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all garbage. Uh, <laughs> we did get a Lillian of the Dark Realms and a Johnny Collar of Pride of the Pride and a Garrick. Gar Lilla. Garrick, Collar of Beasts. We did get Primeval Bounty as well. For foils, we got the Academy Raider. We did get a foil domestication. I'm going to have to look that up. I don't think it's really worth a whole lot, but we'll give it a whirl. Armor Cancrix, Foil Planes, uh, which you all will see a purpose for here soon. Barrage of Expendables, Solemn Offering, and Brave the Elements. I do want to say that this could be actually worth something. I will check that. Um, and then for notables out of the uncommons and commons, we did get a young pyromancer. We got three shadowborn apostles and two of the mana west slivers. So, um, overall, where are we going to put this? Yeah, I'm still going to say this is just very, very high end. At best, we're going to say low end of the decent boxes but i'm saying probably more of the high end of bad boxes because really got none of the uh the good the good money rares uh and or even playable type rares um of stuff i'm looking for so um but you know what we cracked a box we had fun had a nice little trip down memory lane that's always fun to do um so yeah uh, if you like what you saw here, subscribe to the channel, click like on the video, share this video, share it with your, your family, your friends, your aunts, your uncles, co-workers, pets, whole nine yards. Everybody could use a little more magic in their lives. Thank you very much for watching. It's greatly appreciated. And as always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, ChuckwagonMTG. Now, if you could do me a huge favor and take a brief moment to hear this message about our sponsor. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. They have three different locations, and they run magic events every Monday through Saturday, and their Friday Night Magic consists of Standard, Modern, and Legacy every week. This is why I've personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.